This is Ram Man. I'm back with another screen, another topic. Hit that cash out dollar sign Ram 8239. Here we go. Now, I want to talk about this P. Diddy and T.D. Jakes. Like, I didn't even know T.D. Jakes be messing around with P. Diddy, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? I know I've seen pictures of them and stuff like that together and everything. You know, it's supposed to be a pastor. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be leading his congregation and stuff like that. But he messed around with P. Diddy getting involved with P. Diddy, all the different things P. Diddy got going on. Like, you know, that brought brought up a lot of questions, too. And I know uh, Mace was saying some stuff about the whole situation with him, you know, how he got introduced to uh, T.D. Jakes and stuff like that through P. Diddy. Okay, he was saying something like P. Diddy uh, donated like a million dollars to his church and things like that. It's making T.D. Jakes more rich. <laughs> Deceiving the people. You know what I'm saying? And all the different um, allegations that be going on, especially like we know of and heard, well, we heard of other artists talking about concerning P. Diddy. You'll be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, why a person like T.D. Jakes would be hanging out with P. Diddy, going to a wild parties with him, a legend. Because <laughs> uh, I know the whole full story of the situation. I'm hearing some things online about this, about them, and seeing a whole bunch of different pictures with them together. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people making those funny memes <laughs> with T.D. Jakes. And P. Diddy on it. It's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know what I'm saying? I can't say, you know, he went and did some things with P. Diddy. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's a legend. But that brings up lots of different questions about what they had going on. And what a lot of artists bring to the forefront with these CEOs. Like, they got lots of them got dirty hands. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying every single CEO got dirty hands, but we done heard plenty of stories about P. Diddy when it came to Biggie. I mean, when it came to different artists he had on his label, um, now on down to the, your Jay Z's and stuff. Heard about different stories. You know what I'm saying? Can't say they they all true. You know what I'm saying? But all these people, all these different people can't be just lying like that. You know, if all these people, like if it's, if they saying the same thing, it's two to three to four to five to six, seven different people. It got to be some truth to that. So, yeah. P. Diddy, you all in the news, playboy. <laughs> Man, you can't catch a break. And it's the holiday season. Still can't touch a break. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to shoot that quick video. I just thought it was funny, hilarious. T D Jakes and P. Diddy. Wonder what they was doing. <laughs> oh. I remember seeing a little uh little video, well, a little uh post. Remember that song Booster had with him uh and Webby and stuff like that? That um uh, what was that? I think it was wipe me down. But he was saying, uh, uh, I went to New York City and did some some with P. Diddy and all that type. I mean, like hooked up with P. Diddy. You know, that was breaking up, you know, different things like, huh? Hold up. So what was Boosted doing with P. Diddy? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Man, anybody that's probably got connected with P. Diddy or, or really met up with him and stuff, a lot of people on the internet now, they're going to start bringing up different things, saying, all right, oh, this person, he was in doing wild parties with P. Diddy because he said he hung out with him and met up with him and stuff. You know, can't say it's true, but hey. But yeah, this is Ram Man. I'm out. Peace out.